can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear. Whoa. She said, You can just ignore her if she- Like, get out of my ear! Nah, I'm playing. Keep going. I like that. <laughs> yeah, <bye. laughs> no! No! She carefully places a teacup in front of each- Doki, Doki, Doki. All right, here we go. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm back up, Mars. Today we're gonna be playing some Doki Doki Literature Club, guys. This will be the first episode that we do with the face cam, and for Doki Doki. I know I'm not going crazy, right? But anyways, uh, we're gonna be playing Doki Doki. This will be the first episode. With that all being said, let's get right into it, guys. All righty, guys. Said have fun Mars? Of course. Oh man, we gotta do some voice acting here. So, um... So, uh... Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. So it's definitely Sayori, I was right. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Since we were children is insane. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Anime girl says, oh my fucking god, that's the best voice ever. <laughs> Mars anime girl voice. Well, you know, they say I'm a great voice actor, so. You said you should be a voice actor? I already am. But thank you. Uh, I overslept again. But I caught you this time! Caught me? You ain't catching me, I'm the fastest thing on two legs. Have you decided on a club to join yet? Uh, video game club. It's enough said. A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I like how I make myself really edgy. You told me you would join the club this year! Bro, y'all telling me y'all never like looked in the mirror before in the bathroom and just Practice your messed, edgy voice, bro. What do you mean? All hail, shadow, heroes rise again. Like, y'all telling me y'all never did that? Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I died the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Well, Sayori, let's not talk about dying because... <laughs> Like, <laughs> oh my goodness, no, please, this game's fucked. Sayori says, you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Sayori, I'm a big, strong man. I don't need you to worry about me. Like, relax. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Bro just said no promise. I, I can't say bro, because bro is me. So, I really just said no promises, and then I said I would promise. See, I'm becoming a simp already. It's happening. It's happening. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Bro, it's called hormones. We've all been there. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at, at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her own head. Okay. The school day is uh, ugh. the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Determination. Clubs. Sorry, so, uh, Sorry, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Of course, bro. Oh. Okay. Hello? Sayori? You did not just stalk me. So Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in this classroom. Awkward. I thought you'd need some encouragement, so I thought you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club! Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Uh, second place. Second place. Dos. Like, bro. I'm playing. Nah. I'm already getting on Sayori for no reason. She didn't deserve that. 
Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! She said the magic word. Why do you care so much anyway? See, this is why I'm giving him the asshole type voice. Well, well... Not the puppy eyes. I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member, and Atsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises- Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have this all planned out. <sighs> I let out a long sigh. But I had to verbalize that sigh, because- <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Oh, you can't say that. Why did he say- Why did I say that? I just came here for a cupcake, and then go back home! He's on the EDP. Yikes! Yes, let's go! EDP type shit? Yeah. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Oh my gosh, Isabel! <laughs> no! DDLC what mod when? Oh shit. Isabel with the resub. Thank you so much. You remind me of Caleb City. Did you really? Did you really? 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 No reason specifically, but I just remind you of the guy, huh? <sighs> you said I just had that vibe? What vibe, Isabel? What fucking vibe? Why can't I just be me? Why can't I just be me, okay? I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Eh? I glance around the room. Oh gosh, girl one. Well, we know who this is, uh... Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You bought a boy? Well, we found who Isabel is. Uh... <laughs> uh hi, girl, too. Alright, let's see. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, my goodness. My... There goes my baby! <laughs> Yes! The, the, the two M's have to come together, you see. The two M's. Monica and Mars Million together, happy forever. Oh, Mars, what a nice surprise. It's surprising to see you too. Welcome to the club! Oh gosh, the blank stare is killing me already. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! No. With the shape of an L on his forehead. Well, technically that's me. And let's be real, that is a Mars moment. That is a Mars moment. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Isabel, you ever talk to me like this in real life? It's on sight. On sight. Don't ever, don't you ever disrespect. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm already getting hype. I'm already getting there, bro. S sorry. I know I did not just say sorry to her, bro. What the fuck? You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear. Whoa. She said, You can just ignore her if she- Like, get out of my ear! Nah, I'm playing. Keep going. I like that. Right. <laughs> yeah, <bye. laughs> no! No! Anyway, this Natsuki always is- Ugh. This is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smallest- The s the smartest in the club! Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well it's nice to meet the both of you. I guess my character's a bit more timid. I was gonna make him a bit of a badass, cause you know, myself, I kinda am a badass, you know, I'm a badass. But um... He said I wanna see Mars rage and lick the camera for no- YOU bad! Are you fucking serious? Ah, uh, let's see. And it sounds like you- It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Mars. Yeah, so let's see. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. What more can you ask for now? Alright, I'm playing. Basically, completely out of my league. 
So having her smile at me genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. I know I did not just hit her with a fucking stutter, bro! Sayori says, come, si come sit down, Mars. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes! Oh, I just came here for a cupcake. Yo, where's EDP at? You know- hold on! You know EDP is in the fucking club room somewhere, bro! Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, Natsuki. Hey, I made them! I'll get them! Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica, as one space next to and one space next to Sayori. I can't fucking voice act. Fuck. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. I'm trying to give him some oomph, some confidence. I'm trying to give myself some confidence, and and he just I'm just so shy. <laughs> is this how I was? It's, it, it's, it's like, I'm thinking, like, is this really how I was? We all have that phase in our lives. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one! Hey, Natsuki, if you could give some of that through, like, the mic, the screen, and everything, because I'm starving right now, I could use some of that. Uh, Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, then I follow. It's delicious! Uh, <laughs> Sayori t talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I, I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Oh, she's checking me out. She's like, girl, look at that body. Ah, girl, look at that body. Ah, girl, look at that body. I work out. Let's see. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Ow! Head ass, bro. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Dude, did she really just not fucking tell you? Sorry, let me not get mad at myself. This is supposed to be my character, so. Wow! This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard of this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe... But not for you, uh, dummy! Baka! Headass. Wow, Technity wow. says anyways, Natsuki is best girl. What is it with y'all and like it not Suki, bro? Mid, 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 mid! I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each. <laughs> she carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the. Mission failed. We'll next, time. next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole t Ugh, wow. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry. The Ugh, that's the wrong voice, bro. Isabel says I will not tolerate the Natsuki slander. Well, Isabel, you don't have to be watching right now. You can close out of the stream and go to bed. It's that simple. But see, I'm gonna tell you what you are gonna do. You're gonna keep watching, because you can't get enough of Mars Million. And of course, now that I have this face, hypnotization, you said Monica Million. Duh, that's why I w come on. When she takes the last name, it'll have a ring to it. It'll have a nice ring to it. But see, that custody battle's gonna be crazy. <laughs> You just made me drop my cup, bro. <laughs> Yuri says, 
Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Well, tea and reading might not be a be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Yuri says, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow. She did the Dwayne The Rock Johnson. She pulled you with the... <laughs> then smiles at me. So what, it, what made you consider the literature club? Monica says, ah, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri nods in agreement. Oh, get the fuck out of here, you yes men. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. That's real shit, guys. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that, they're, it, that you're both fun and worthwhile. I mean, there are different ways to convince me, Monica. Alright, oh, oh, fuck! But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Just, yes, yes, girls. They're, they're the Yas girls, bro. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Mars, what kind of thi- <clears throat> I can need a deeper voice for her. So Mars, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I know you did not just fucking say manga, bro! Mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. See, that's why you don't fucking say manga. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without even thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing, yep. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Uh, I read a horror book once, there we go. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Or someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror! Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a second. Why the hell are you looking at me? I don't want no parts of you. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wow, Monica putting her ass on blast. Monica with the snitching. Wow. Really? W what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called... Bro, Monica is so fucking mischievous, bro. She was already doing, like, foul shit. Don't say it out loud! And get that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is as cute as you are. Oh, okay. Sayori 
sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. See, I was gonna say slides up behind her. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh, jeez. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. I do it a lot. You must be willing to open up to the, your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <sighs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Nat, Nat and Yuri? Nat? We gave her a nickname? Nat? <laughs> Said Mars, stop moaning. I gotta get in the anime girl character, bro. I gotta get the Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um, yeah, let's do it! Plus, now we have a new member. I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Mars? Uh, Monica, Mo Ugh. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. She's feeling your boy. That's, that's... Fuck with that. Uh, <laughs> hold on. There's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I boldly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club! Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but I'm sorry, I thought... Hm. Mars... You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-handed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Mars, join the party! One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Whoa, 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 whoa. You making me excited. I'm playing. H hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for cupcakes, I would be super pissed. So if you're saying if I pulled the EDP, a cupcake, and then go back home, then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that's all we can- uh I think that- uh, I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we all can share. Monica looks him over at me once more. Mars, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> y yeah Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Mediocre? Hey Mars, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. My character used to really just leave school after school and do nothing. I used to be like that. Yikes! This is me! Here we go, sure, might as well. Yay! Can we please get to a safe spot? Please! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the- Ugh. Ugh. My mind can't voice act right now. Uh, the whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Natsuki. Yuri. 
and of course, Monica. The power of friendship! Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I guess that starts with writing a poem. Then. It's time to write a poem. I have to do this? So pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whomever likes your poem the most. Well, uh, I want to go for Monica. I think I'm going to go for heart because Monica... Just because... Spend enough time during... I got an achievement just now. For just sitting in here. Yo, we're gonna go heart. We're gonna go heart memories. Heaven sent. I mean, God in there, of course. Prayer. Uh, vivacious eternity. Oh, jeez, eternity. That's uh, it's a bit creepy, don't you think? I'm gonna just say prayer. Gotta get some holy words in here, right? Cause this game is about to get crazy and I need all the holy support I can get. I'm gonna say essence. I wanna keep the positive words. What the, f what the fuck is this like? I guess the horror aspect for Yuri, but those words are, ugh. I'm not doing that. You're good. No. Let's go atone. Atone for your sins. Why can I put cheeks in this poem? Do they know what they're doing right now? Do I just go cheeks just for just for the shits and giggles? Fuck it. Cheeks. Lollipop. Waterfall. Uncontrollable. Laugh. Flying. Together. I'ma go lollipop. Fireworks. Fireflies. You would not believe your eyes. Ten million fireflies. Yes. Marriage, depression, uh, spitting, lazy, loud, secretive, charm. I'll go charm. Uh, vacation, romance, anxiety is insane. Uncanny, fuck no. What are these words? Game, trying to set the mood? No, I beg to differ. Romance. Rose, raindrop, silly, pleasure. Wow, what the fuck? They really on their 50 shades of gray. Sensation. Uh, I'm gonna go rose. We're gonna keep this PG. Uh, <laughs> universe. Heartbeat. I'll go universe. Games. Oh, you already know. That's me all day. I like how I'm supposed to make this about them, but I'm making it more about me. Whoops. Got a bit carried away with the narcissism again. <laughs> Uh, Doki Doki. The fuck does that even mean? You know, fuck it. Just, just do it. Fuck it. It was between Doki Doki and Dream. And I'm not doing Dream, because, uh, no. Let's do Melody. Tragedy, Happiness, Sugar, Intellectual, Lust. They really, you can make this a fucking Fifty Shades of Grey poem if you wanted to. You just put all types of shit. Fuck no. Not that type of novel. Fuck sakes. Sing. Swimsuit is insane. Inferno. Hell no. Uh, cheer. Variance. Treasure. Misfortune. Cage. Marshmallow. I'm gonna go for the marshmallow because so many people online say Mars marshmallow or marshmallion. Fuck sakes, bro. Like, I'm, I gotta get marshmallows as a snack now. Let's go, Crimson. King of Crimson! Alright, this game's gonna get crazier, but let's do the outro. First take, first take. Welcome to the end of the video, guys. This episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. We played the first part prologue. We got to meet all the girls. It was nice. We got to meet Natsuki, Yuri, Monica, Sayori all safe and sound and the next episode of doki doki literature club guys we're going to be taking on what's next more in the literature club thank you all for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more i will see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>